Hello everybody, this is Angie from Torangie.com and today I am still in Rome. This is part two of the golf cart video. We are going to be spending all of part two in the Villa Borghese Park or Gardens. These gardens started to be developed in the early 1600s by Chipino Borghese. His uncle actually was Pope Paul V. And Chapino had, uh, well, the Borghese family in general had tons of money, tons of clout, were very well known, very prominent people of Rome. And of course, one was a Pope. I believe there was maybe actually another or two that were Popes. But anyway, I just knew right off Pope Paul V was a Borghese and he was the Pope. Anyway, long story short, this area started to develop in the 1600s by Chapino, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. This used to be um, vineyards run down, and of course it was outside of the Aurelian Wall, which you've seen in the first video. We've passed through the Aurelian Wall at Ponta Popolo and crossed over to the Villa Borghese Garden area. So back in the day in the 1600s, you know, when the Borghese family wanted to escape the city, they had crossed over and came over here to these gardens and these villas that were made. Uh, there is a Medici Villa, and Medici is a well-known name in uh, Italy, more so known for banking in Florence area, but there was also a villa here. And then there was the Borghese Villa. There is a art gallery, the gallery over here. There are tons of sculptures. It is very beautiful over here. And as you can tell now, it's a park. It's the third largest park in Rome. And people come here to just enjoy the outdoor activities, enjoy nature. You'll see lots of people walking. Now you'll notice that the golf cart can go into places that cars cannot. And you'll have also noticed on a wall back there, there is a fountain that hangs off the side of the wall that you can still drink out of. That is everywhere in Rome. Water is still free to drink in Rome. You're going to see fountains everywhere. Everywhere you go, you will see fountains and take a drink of it. But anyway, you've seen that fountain. I had to point it out, even though we've passed it now. But the golf cart can go everywhere through here. And where we're going to is an overlook on this hill that I still can't pronounce. Pensio Hill. Pensio, 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 Pensino, Pensino. Pensino Hill, I'm so sorry. I am butchering Italian and I apologize for that. Anyway, this hill is not considered one of the seven hills of Rome because it's outside the city walls, the ancient city walls. Anyway, this is a beautiful overlook. You will be able to spot the tallest building on the left is going to be called the Wedding Cake Building. Everybody knows it as the Wedding Cake. I'm not going to say the true name of what it is because I will butcher it. So just call it the Wedding Cake. And then you're going to see other tall buildings throughout and they're all steeples of churches the far right you're going to see the Vatican Church I wanted to go on and mention that I will have different angles different views from this overlook point where we park the golf cart and walk over this is a better viewpoint than the other viewpoint where a lot of cars are parked. There are tons of people down there, and it's just down the street. But there are tons of cars, tons of people, and you don't get as good of an overlook. This area up here is better overlook. You cannot bring a car up here, but you can bring a golf cart. That is the best thing about the golf cart tours. Golf carts are allowed to go in different areas, more pedestrian walking areas where cars cannot go. So I highly recommend these golf cart tours. Anywho, back to the whole Borghese family. So there's some controversy there with the Borghese family, and I just want to talk to you a little bit about the controversy with uh, 
Shapino. So let's talk a little bit about controversy. And, you know, the Borghese family, there's always some controversy, which there's controversy with any family. But, you know, the rich and elite, you know, we're all always have been focused on the rich and elite and all those kind of people with their controversies. But the main controversy there was Shapino's uncle was the Pope. And that gave Shapino um, ways to make money that he shouldn't have. By getting discounts from people because, oh, your uncle's the Pope. Well, let me sell you this house. Or let me sell you this land. Or, well, let me give you reduced rates on rents. And this, that, and forth, and the other. Anyway, it made the Borghese family totally rich. Unbelievably rich. And there's a lot of controversy in that because even with those side hustles, the Pope was also involved in saying well the papal government will help to pay for this this or that for the Borghese family so you know they were using government money so to speak the papal government money to help out the family too now of course this gardens was built these gardens this, this villa this whole area was built by Chapino Borghese and it is beautiful, and there are villas, like I was talking about. There's art, and he was, and Chapino was a huge um, patron to Bernini and Carvaggio. So he loved his art collections, and this is a beautiful area, so I get it. <laughs> but still, you know, it's a little bit shady on how they became rich and were able to build these villas and these gardens. Another little bit of controversy with him was it was rumored that he was gay. And, you know, gay in the 1600s is a totally different thing. That was that had to be pretty rough on him. But um, it never came out if he totally was or not. But the Pope, which was his uncle, um, gave a supposed lover an office in the church just to keep a closer eye on him. You know, uh, they were not obviously a fan of. So there was a little bit of controversy there, too. But the main controversy that I wanted to focus in on was you know, the papal government helped us make the Borghese family rich. And Chapino used, oh, well, my uncle's the Pope, to wheel and deal and become rich and rich, the family rich also. In the gardens here, there are some cool places to see. There is a Shakespeare's Globe Theater replica built. It was built in 2000, 2003. And then there's a hydrochronometer. It was in uh, built in 1867, but placed here in 1873. That's pretty cute. Also, if you are a fan of Mario Kart... Uh, the Villa Nova or the the Roma part of um, what was it called Roma Avante? It's part of the Mario Kart Tour and Mario Kart Eight Deluxe. If you play that Nintendo video game, so I thought I'd share that because I thought that was pretty cool itself. Um, what else can I talk about up here? It's just a beautiful area. Come here for walks. Just walk around. Drink out of the fountain. But come over here to the Overlook. Come to the Overlook. That's not close to the parking lot because you get so much of a better view and it's not near as crowded. Let's see. I believe that is all I have to talk about. This video was just more about history and seeing the, this cool place. So I will let you go and hope you enjoy. There has been pictures put in the middle of this video, different angles, uh, zoomed in, zoomed out a little, just to just to give you a better idea if you couldn't see as well from the video, just to just to add a little bit of a difference in there. Anyway, this is Angie from Torangie.com. Uh, come to my website, read my blogs, make appointments so I can help you plan your next travel adventure. I hope you're enjoying these golf cart tours, and I hope you can forgive me for mispronouncing everything in the Italian language. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.